Hey guys, I'm Michelle Mora with Geek and Sundry, and I'm back with the guys from Dark Rift, and we're gonna talk about the success of Mission 2, Defend Your Territory. From uh, Mission 2, Defend Your Territory, we uh, gave Lenovo Game State website some exclusive flyover videos of the interior and exterior uh, environments. Mm -hmm. and we got some really great comments and feedback from our community. Getting your creative juices going and kind of getting excited about something is what we're all doing this for. So, you know, keep it coming. So I heard you guys brought some comments from the community uh, on Game State. We have one from Andrew Peeling. The bones drew a lot of my attention in the fly-through, and I was wondering if you're going to introduce what exactly the creature was that those bone remnants are a part of. Ooh. What's cool about doing environmental art is we can drop subtle hints that kind of expand on our universe, and in this case, may have just been one of those elements, but maybe you'll have to get the game and find out. We got a really great comment from Drago. What would be extremely cool if some maps actually change while you played? Like all of a sudden, an earthquake goes off, there's a huge gap in the map that you could fall through. The one I have here is from uh, Multi Umbrian. You see those doorway areas at uh, 15 seconds in. Maybe you should be able to get some kind of power-up that puts a shield in those doors. Um, so when an enemy steps through, they're vaporized or tased. We get a lot of comments like this that are regarding the map changing dynamically based on the player, and this is already a very large tenant of ours. What's cool about that comment in particular, too, is that I noticed that it sparked a debate within the community. Yeah, we check the comments every single day, and we're really looking for people to sell their vision to us, sell us your fantasy, and we pay attention to all of them. You know, it's very exciting for everybody. Well, the comments are amazing, as always, but let's not forget about the incredible artwork that's been submitted on the Game State site. Well, if we look at the submission by Lars Holt, The Realm of Peace, it looks like this peaceful, wonderful place to be. But then when you read the description, there's kind of some depth there, as that this was actually like a past battlefield that's been polluted and ruined with debris. So the next one we have here is Goreplex Swamp, and this is uh, by Luke Garvey. And there's actually a really gloomy atmosphere that's created from this swamp. I really, really like this piece, and and uh, I like where he's going, and uh, you know, keep up the good work. For mine, I have uh, The Dark Forest by Pendra. Here's a quick sketch of a forest scene. Um, it might be cool if there were a in the forest where the heroes could use the trees to hide and spring surprise attacks and traps. And you can see, like, hidden in the back, there's a little monster creeping behind. Those are things we love to see. It gives us some ideas of gameplay elements that we can have, um, little cool things we can do to help really flesh out a level. What I saw on the site was that it really added to the discussion process when people left a caption describing what the environment was. And even if you don't see a reply from us, know we're reading everything. The whole team is going through those and seeing it. It's, it's awesome to see. So keep participating. There's more missions to come, and we're really excited to see what comes out of those. So if you guys haven't heard, Mission 3 is called Live or die. This is where you get to design your own weapon that could be featured in the game, which is pretty cool. You go to LenovoGameState.com, click submit your artwork, and you can upload it from there. It doesn't matter how talented you are, it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter what your experience is. Just submit something, be creative, add to this really cool experience. I'm terrible at drawing, but I am still going to submit something. The top 10 designs that get the most upvotes have the opportunity to have your weapon put in this game. So make sure you do that. Share it with your friends. Use the hashtag GameState. And guys from Dark Rift, thank you so much for joining us. And, and I can't wait to see how Mission 3 goes. <laughs>